I grew up in a very rural, um, conservative kind of uh, environment in, in Appalachia and Pennsylvania. And so a lot of my work is about the liminal space between really loving that that experience and having a great amount of pride for where I grew up, but also, you know, really yearning for culture and kind of escape and an urban environment. I mostly am a painter, but I've also been using ceramics and especially my time here to really explore that because I don't really have the means any other time. Uh, I do a lot of cartoons. I do a lot of uh, daily diaristic kind of our crumb explorations. And so I've been kind of trying to translate that into my, my ceramic. All of my work is very uh, diaristic and all self-portrait, even when they're, they're not necessarily overtly myself. And a lot of the work comes out of this um, liminal anxiety, not really sure where, or trying to figure out where I belong or what, where my, or I'm gonna navigate this, where my trajectory is as an artist, as a person, and I work in, uh, a very naturalistic, very thorough, uh, realistic kind of old master hatch drawings that are, are very concise and they have to look a certain way. And then there's the cartoons where there's completely no pressure. Right before graduate school, I went as a studio assistant to Aramont School of Arts and Crafts in Tennessee. And so I was assisting people and you know cleaning the studios and things like that. And I would see visiting artists come in a uh, guy, Tom Bartell, was doing these figurative heads that were really gross and amazing. And I was like, oh, wow, this is really nuts. And I didn't know that ceramics could be um, kind of in a fine art uh, arena. So uh, I was like, you know, I can do my cartoons in ceramics, and that is so cool. And I can do figures in ceramics, and I can uh, use a lot of these, the ideas from home and, and make them reclaim them and in a sculptural way. I need to have this. I need to have ceramics be work along with my two-dimensional stuff. And I think that they really inform each other when they're next to each other, uh, when there's a, a, a jug head or a ceramic bust next to a painting, or the it's the sculptural representation of that. And it's a, a whole different dimension. And we're talking like art historically and contemporarily and diaristically. It's just like, wow, this kind of needs to happen.